what's it what's it like being in the army and pursuing a music career though it's it's i would say it's challenging because like i can't jump like i begin a lot of people like i begin like showcases people telling me they got showcases here and there here all the time but it's like i can't just jump and go when they tell me the dates i gotta go to my leadership put in a pass for these many dates and see if it get approved it ain't it ain't 100 percent guaranteed to get approved we can have something going on because we always got random shit going on in the military like class i'm mean not classes but like uh trainings and shit, or like going to the field or being deployed going somewhere else so like i can't just like move when i want to that would, that's the main challenging thing other than that it's but that's where the bag is so that's really that's where the problem is like <laughs> and just go here go there can't even do that if i wanted to was it did you like staying any you stayed in different places other than virginia haven't you yeah what was what did you like any other place better than virginia i i loved hawaii like the cost of living was higher but like every day was a beautiful so you day. actually stayed and lived in hawaii yeah i lived in hawaii for four years oh that's fire oh yeah was it was it lit out there yeah it was definitely lit so i got to see like before COVID hit it was definitely jumping like every night like you could go out on a tuesday if you wanted to that shit was jumping somewhere it was jumping every night either the college uh the colleges or like the clubs the bars the beach somewhere it was jumping every day of the week before COVID. but what after the women like? huh with the women like they was bad but they be on game about the military because like oh it's basically like <laughs> the military state so they already know like they trying to trap your ass for real for real oh man yeah I had this one, I had this one badass bitch, but she had like four kids already. And I was like, <laughs> couldn't even go for that. Hell no. So you didn't join the military as like a, a reason to get away from Virginia? I mean, I was listening to get away, but lead, 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 lead into my next question. I don't mean to cut you off. Oh, all right. No, go ahead. Oh, I said like a, I wouldn't you say like a, a, a run away from Virginia, but more like a travel to see something else, like see the rest of the world for free on top of that. Because my first time like actually leaving Virginia to where I can remember, like I left as a kid plenty of times, mm -hmm. but not that I remember, you know, I was too young. So my mm -hmm. first time actually leaving and getting on a plane and going somewhere else. I was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. So, and but no, that that's not my question though. My question was because I, I watched Yo Land of the Free video. And and I just something with me, I always talk about how Virginia, the first slave state, we the yeah. we the South, you know what I'm saying? We started in the South and everything, and people don't understand, like we are actually the first slave state. Yeah. So watching your video with Land of the Free, it kind of like I salute it because it's like you getting out the message I be trying to tell people. You know yeah. what I mean? Dad and uh, do you remember going to the slave plantations on field trips as a kid? Definitely, I be telling people yeah. that shit all the time. Being from Virginia, that's wild that they took us on a fucking plantation as a field trip in elementary school. Like that shit is wild to look back on. I be telling that telling people that they be like, what? Like they be like thinking that that shit is not true. Like I'm capping the song, but like that shit real life, like shit crazy. They passing around fucking cotton balls and shit. Like this what it looked like before and after they picked it. Shit used to be wild. Now what made you what made you add um I would say a plantation owner to the video? That was that was that was kind of wild uh it's art though you know what i mean yeah, that was like, like, when i be listening to my music like even before it's mixed and master like or i'm just like rehearsing and like put it down 
every time it's just like visual. I visualize it like I visualize like a video for every song that I do. Like before I even put it out, I already kind of got like a visual of what I want to do with the song. And like that was the visual that I had. And being in the military, I got access to people like that. Like I could just hit up somebody like, hey, you trying to do this in this video for me? Pay them a little bit or whatever, like whatever they need. Like whatever they try and do just to get in the video. Like I don't even think I had to pay him none. I probably gave that man like a pack of beers or something this morning. Like and he did that shit. Cause he probably enjoyed playing that role. <laughs> he probably did. His ass country boy too. His ass is from Ohio. Now I know you say y'all got y'all having some issues right now with y'all brand, but what do you see the brand in five years? You think you still gonna be rocking with it or definitely? I ain't gonna lie. I do think I still be rocking with it. But shit, if not, then my other label would just be in its place. I see it striving though. Like we got, we, I got the tools to get to where I'm trying to go. I just gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? Only way, only way to make it happen is to keep going.